Makey Makey is an invention kit that acts like your computer keyboard. It's the ultimate digital duct tape that allows you to alligator clip, conductive items, and control your computer with everyday stuff. Simply plug in the small USB end into your Makey Makey. Then take the other end and plug it into your computer. Navigate to makeymakey.com piano and let's try it with our hands. Hold earth and then use your other hand to play the different inputs. What's really cool is now you can take these alligator clips and plug them into your Makey Makey and use this digital duct tape to use everyday stuff to control your computer. The alligator clips you just squeeze and clip onto your Makey Makey. The bottom row is earth and the top inputs are going to be different key presses. So this is our left arrow key. The color of the alligator clips don't really mean anything. So let's just plug one into each banana and play the piano. Since bananas are conductive, the alligator clips will send the signal back to the computer that we're pressing arrow keys, the same way it did when we held Makey Makey with our hands. And you don't have to use bananas. You can use anything that's conductive. That's what makes Makey Makey so magical. You can use it in any subject area to grasp all kinds of new concepts by having your kids code new projects that work with key presses. For now, let's stick with the banana piano and see what kind of music we can play. Our piano app is coded with JavaScript. Each note is played when a key is pressed. Makey Makey allows me to press keys by tapping on the bananas. I've clipped earth to my watch and now I can play a little bit better. Let's try the MK1 sampler app. I'm going to hold earth and try the keys again. And I actually get to use W, A, S, D, F, and G by clipping these jumper wires into the back. See? It works. So this MK1 sampler app was made by Eric Rosenbaum. He's one of our co-inventors. Eric coded this sampling synthesizer with P5JS, which is another cool way to code any kind of application you can use with Makey Makey. This app allows you to take a sound and put it on a piano scale. You can load some of the really great sounds that Eric already has, or you can record your own sounds. I think I could play a little better if I move this alligator clip to my ring. Let's load a different sound. And just for fun, we have to try splurt. When you're ready to go beyond the banana, make sure to head to our resource page. Go to makeymakey.com slash howto or navigate here to how-to guides. You'll want to check out our beginner course where you can learn what is conductive. You can draw a playable instrument. And you can learn how to code in Scratch. You can make your own animations, your own games, and even craft and code interactive stories. When you're ready, move on to the intermediate course where you'll craft and design switches, hack a toy, create your own tilt sensor out of a toilet paper roll, and even create this amazing pixel art finger paint project. You can find math and coding to create something pretty cool. And all of our guides are really easy to follow. They all have great video explanations, photos, and text to help you through. Let's take a quick look at some great starter projects. I love this What is Conductive lesson. You just need some cardboard and tin foil to create your own conductivity tester. Since Makey Makey tests conductivity, and that's how you build inventions, it's a great project to get students started thinking about what other items they can invent with. So we're using aluminum foil as our conductive element that we're gonna hook up to Makey Makey. And then we're just gonna place things across the two tracks of foil to see if we can make a complete circuit. It's a really great way to start introducing circuits to students and to help them think about what type of items are conductive and what type of items are not conductive. And then they'll know what they can invent with. So remember, we need two inputs for testing. One we're gonna to connect to space and one we're gonna to connect to earth. Now that our conductivity tester is built, we're going to plug in Makey Makey and go to a scratch game called Is It Conductive? We like to use this game with students because when an item is conductive, conductive. and that's why we love that game. 
Another fun idea is to teach kids how to code different key presses in Scratch and different ways they can use that. Here's a project where we coded ASL sign language to play every time you touch a word. Since pencil lead is conductive, this is actually a really magical project idea with students. They can code their drawings to do just about anything. You could code different languages, you could code onomatopoeia projects, or maybe you're going to code vocabulary words and have students act out what the word means. There's all kinds of different ways you could do the same project idea in your own classroom. If you want to code animations, you just take multiple pictures of the different word you want to use or whatever it is you're doing, and then you turn your image into a sprite or a backdrop, and you code it to change on a key press. You can see the full guide for this at makeymakey.com slash howto. Another favorite project idea is to make an interactive poster. Just by adding conductive touch points to anything and make it interactive. In this project, students research a topic, design a poster, and create conductive touch points. After researching, students write down sound bites they want to share with their audience. You can have students record those sound bites in Audacity, or maybe code them in Scratch. If you create your sounds in Audacity, upload WAVE or MP3 files to a new Scratch project. Then code samples to play on key presses that work with Makey Makey. Before adding conductive touch points, have students think about the people who will use the poster to learn about the topic. This is called user interface design. Decide what conductive materials you want your students to use. Let them experiment with things like brass fasteners, metal thumbtacks, or even pencil drawings. Then your students just alligator clip to the conductive touch points and connect to the Makey Makey inputs they coded in Scratch. When a user touches Earth and a touch point, it will trigger the sound effects programmed in Scratch. I too sing America. The full guide for this project and all the projects you're seeing here today are at makeymakey.com slash howto. Another fun idea is a musical challenge. Check out this interactive sheet music. You can make almost anything an instrument with our new sampler app. App, students can load different samples, try different music, and then they can build any kind of instrument. It doesn't have to be water and house plants, but we thought this was fun. You can even generate fractions with Makey Makey, Scratch, and Copper Tape. And let me share one last project with you before you go. You can also take drawings and turn them into a poem generator just by hooking up to Makey Makey and doing a really quick hack in Scratch using the pick random block. I am strong like a tree trunk. The nighttime hums with the sound of the bug quartet. Courageous like a baby bird leaving the nest. Spiders spin their webs. The sun warms my face. My heart is inspired by the actions of spring. Standing up to a new day. Find these projects and more at our site, makeymakey.com, and go to our resource page. And be warned, extended usage may result in creative confidence.